And we are back here in beautiful Singapore for the third straight year, the seventh edition of the Asia Cup. 2024 in Olympic year getting started off with a bang. I'm Kyle Montgomery, AKA the voice of 3X3. Alongside me is Angelo Sagarakis, AKA the czar. With 12 games in, uh, Angelo, we got six more to go as we get ready to enter this third and final session of the opening day. Give me your impressions of the day so far. We still got unfinished business, but I'm curious to know your thoughts. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm very pleased by what I've seen so far. Um, I'm still thinking that it's the first day, so people are still getting their groove. Plus, it, it's always getting familiar with a new court, a new atmosphere. You don't get that much practice time on yep. the main court. So it's kind of like you're tuning yourself up for game two and then game three, and obviously for the main draw. I got a layup for you. Most impressive team of the day so far, men's and women's squads. Who you like? I know I got, I got my men's team. I'm, I'm still picking my women's team that's been the most impressive today. Well, obviously, it's impossible not to mention Australia. Uh, I think they are. Ding, 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 ding. They're in lock uh, of in. Of course. But I got to give props to India. India is very fun to watch. They look strong. They, they look, look strong, strong and they're skilled. Uh, I just want to see them battle tested against a much stronger squad. Uh -huh. And we're going to have an opportunity to see that soon enough. How about the ladies? The ladies are, uh, I the think that, are undefeated. Right. I, I think that. Kazakhstan, I, I believe, right? Yeah, I like the Philippines. The Philippines right. left a stronger impression on me than Kazakhstan. Okay. That is more on the alternative circuit. Uh, so we still have some ladies to watch now. So I'm going to keep this, uh, this appreciation. At the end of the day, we'll do another assessment. Okay, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. But uh, so far, that's the impression that I got. So far, so good. And uh, thank you for if you guys have been hanging with us all day long. You know how we, you know how we do it. We have a lot of fun. It's a mixture of entertainment and information, infotainment, if you will. And we're expecting a, a, a nice finish to uh, the opening day of action. So here out comes our first men's game. This is NMI, the Northern Mariana Islands in the all-white jerseys. We will see what they will uh, what they will bring to the competition. Of course, or earlier uh, in today's competition, we saw the women's team in competition, and it. Uh, I don't have the score handy right now. So Sri Lanka, which is the team they are facing up with, uh, beat Indonesia. And that's gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna have their hands full. Yes. Northern Mariana Islands, that, don't get the e, don't get the easy going. I right mixed now. my teams up. It was actually the men's team that we right. saw. That, that was, was the to men's start team. the day, and right. it didn't start well. Uh, Twenty-one to eight, as the Republic of Korea put it on them. Now Sri Lanka will re-enter the court. We saw them pick up a twenty-one to fourteen win over Indonesia, as we get back into qualifying draw B action. And uh, Sri Lanka looked quite promising. They have an opportunity to clean the plate up today and uh, set up a great potential ticket match for um, for the main draw against Korea. You know how I pace myself for these you know, extended tournaments where you got five days of action. You know, it's the initial excitement of just day one. Right. It, you know, it's the first day of the season. That energy carries you throughout the day. Then. Day two, the second day of qualification, that sets our main draw field. So there's a lot to anticipate on that day. And then day three, first day of the main draw. And, and that's the thing, like the energy is steady high because yep. tomorrow is like the first knockout round, really. Exactly. And exactly. then the main draw is back to like first day. It's the main competition. You're finding out who's a, a, or almost has like a promise of a knockout round bound. Well, it's going to be very, very interesting. I really like the format of this competition because it enables us to really have an, an overview of everything available on this side of the world. Separates the contenders from the pretenders. That's the way, I mean, that's what the qualify, qualification rounds is all about. And you start to, you get to see uh, teams kind of begin that trek towards, you know, their quest for gold, so to speak. I, I, I got a soft spot for Cinderella stories. I love to see teams uh, 
you know, that maybe people didn't anticipate making it far, not only getting to the main draw, but, you know, you know, pushing their, their journey as far as they can go. So, right. it's just another interesting part of the tournament, especially at, at the Asian Cup. So, at the moment you mentioned contenders, I thought about Stump the Yards. I don't know why. You remember you that movie, Stump the Yard? No, I don't know that one. Oh, I, I, That's I, one you listen, gotta watch. Though. I'm just gonna warn you right now about movies with me. I forget the names of movies that I've seen uh, many times, so. I'll show you the clip then. All right, you got so, to put me on game. For yeah. sure, baby. So back to the action now with Sri Lanka starting off hot, the way to finish their first game. Ooh, try to go the other way. Whistle on the uh, on the shot. Pawan Gajami, Gamaji. Try to go with the hang time. I told you, I, I hyped him up. and Rightfully, I believe. Well, he's a hooper, he's a hooper. But I think they got more firepower this year. They do. In, in years past, I've seen him kind of try to shoulder the load for the team. And he's got about to a 2 0 start. But more but I, balance, more balance was not I tell you what, he wasn't the main factor in the first game against Indonesia. In fact, he wasn't, he wasn't the difference maker. He was part of the groove. But you, you're looking at the, the, the impact of uh, Dasun Milanta and uh, Rungshan Atapatatu. Uh -huh. They play well in the interior. Pawan is more the guy, he's the wizard with the Wilson. He's the one orchestrating and mixing things up on the dribble drive. He's speaking of dribble drive. Huh? You gotta make those count. Bad miss right at the rim. So Northern Mariana Islands on the attack. Douglas Schmidt will kick it to the baseline. Pull up. No, bro. Missed everything. Pawan with the unselfish play, swings it to the wing. Has the wind picked up or something here? I, I tell you what, the funny thing is uh, during that, that break, I had the opportunity to uh, go up on the floor, shoot it, shoot around a little bit, uh -huh. get a feel for how the ball bounces uh -huh. so that I can understand better what they're going through. Yeah. And you have some funny spots for, uh, for the dribbling. Kind of like the ball goes dead at some spots. Yeah. And the angles. The best spot to shoot is 45 on the right-hand side, for sure, and the corner. Don't tell Santos that. He is all <laughs> ball from left wing. He wants it That's again. the spot right there. Is that the spot? Yes. And uh, it's tougher to shoot on the left-hand corner, plus you got the sun in your eyes on that side. Yeah. So I'm giving you all the tips. If you're watching the game, just know now. Listen carefully. See, I didn't know that you were out there testing the court. I thought you were out there just heaving up half-court shots. Oh! Ho, ho. Did, I blow, did, I, did I blow the surprise? No, you did didn't, because no one yet? saw it. Yet. All right, okay. <laughs> so, I like when you break out news like this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> well, I give a hint. If you remember the U23 World Cup in 2022 in Bucharest, and you saw a viral clip, a reel from FIBA 3x3, then maybe we got something similar. All right, man. I can't make a 10-footer. And Zara's here throwing it up from our, where we're seeing courtside right now, all net, all way. Well, I'm reposting that. As soon, soon as you drop it to me, I'm reposting that. All right, I love it. I we got a 3-2 game, though. Well, Sri Lanka favorite to, uh, to, take, uh, to take that dub, but... You, you have to make sure that he, there is no complacency ever in any game in 3x3. So we'll see. But I believe Sri Lanka is very serious in this game. They are playing with what they've shown so far. Beautiful take. Nice. Torsion. Mid-air to finish that layup. Great body control. Santos. Kicks to Schmidt. Oh, Schmidt. <laughs> that was uh, I mean, that, that shot never had a chance. I just caught me off guard. No, I would never, I didn't say a curse word. So don't try, oh, don't no one, there. no one implied it. Well, you know, no some one. people are funny. 5 2. Dougie. Oh, yes. Gives up his possession. And that is taken care of, laid in by Simron. Yoga Nanta. Cookies. Yep, got his cookies took. Playing with him like that. Schmidt makes it. Gonna be a one. Gonna be a one. He's, he's, got the, he's got the mighty touch right now. 
for uh, NMI. I told you that left-hand corner is treacherous. That was my best spot when I, when I could play. I was, I was pretty good in the corner. Pretty good in the corner. You still can. You just got to get back in shape. get back in my rhythm, man. Right. That's a nice take. Sri Lanka in the lead. That's not... Obviously, it was, oh my goodness. Stuffed it like... Like a turkey? Yeah. We're, we're well past Thanksgiving, though. Well, the reference still counts, though. We'll go back to the drawing board with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I like the action so far. No, the, the pace is fun, but obviously, Northern Mariana Islands, they're, they're new to this game. Uh, the, they're in discovery mode. What is this 3x3 game about? How do they really play it? Like, what are the subtlety of this sport? And who and are we? Build. And what is our identity? All those things. Right. But I, tell you, process. but I tell you, Kyle, getting a taste of this kind of competition, that makes you hungrier for more. Uh-oh, Pawan, the quick change of direction. Set shot is wet from the left wing. Rook San rocks the birds one time, and we got a 9-4 contest with 6.23 officially on the game clock. And hey, make sure you follow us on social media, at fever 3 x 3 also at FIBA3X3W. Use the hashtag 3X3Asia. Where are you going? I'm in trouble. I'm turn it over. Too many sidestepping. Yeah, probably drugged that pivot foot. I didn't have a, the best angle. Yeah, he he switched pivot foot to be quite simple. Man, Luke Sean is getting to work right now. He's been he's been a dominant force for Sri Lanka since the beginning of this tournament. Great Use, kick out pass. Using that lengthy frame. Defending at the rim pretty well, too. Somebody shoot it. Santos, he'll do the honors. He got it up just in the nick of time. As a 10-5. Simran missed it. Pawan, though. Johnny on the spot. Use that quickness to track down the Wilson. Santos will give it up. Lizama laces. It is 6-11. As the Northern Mariana Islands start to fight back. Look at Pawan. Just offensive rebounding machine right now. He's light, so he was just floating up there in the air. Extra pass, no, he wants to take it himself. I would have passed back to the corner, to be honest. Oh, well, he's shooting it pretty well. I, I would have shot that. He checked. Well, I don't know if he's actually, uh, if he's hot, but. Well, maybe that's just not his strength in the saying. Well, uh, you his know teammate's what? strength. See, what? identifying okay. who you're passing it to. I will say this. All I got to do is make one, and I'm confident in every in every shot I take from that point forward. <laughs> I don't have to be hot. If I hit one, I'm, I don't think I'm hitting the second one. I'm pretty sure everybody feels that way when they play ball. Kind of like it gives you the... the well, I'm, confident. I'm, I'm, a loss. I'm a loss of the English word. The, when you give permission, the permission yes. to shoot the next one and the next one. Well, your, your teammates won't be mad at you. Unless you go 0 for 4 after there you, that. Yeah, you, hit, you, hit, you go 0 for 4. Luke Sean is That was too easy. That was too easy. Any way he likes. But you can't give an open lane like this, Kyle. You, you got to contest a bit stronger. Simron. Oh, oh. Simron looked like he got hit in the side of the head on that yep. drive. He should have did. But he's looking to drive. He doesn't want to shoot it. And you can tell Schmidt is not comfortable going to his left. He's dribbling right-handed going left. And he was really the... Look at the lone bright spot for NMI in their opener. And he has not been able to buy a bucket so far in this one. This looks out of sync. The team in general, they trail by eight now. We're past the midway point. Now Santos, he will miss fire. They go down to the post office. You've got mail. The son gets the jump hook to go. It's a nine point lead for Sri Lanka. Schmidt with the crossover sets up the two attempt and still keeps finding iron. Pass. Nice no look. Nice no look. It's getting three shots, both teams. Defense is a little lackluster. But oh, Sri, Lanka, Sri Lanka, they yeah. can afford it. They can afford it. Oh, down to the body shot. Take it back. Santos swings it. Schmidt 
Dang, he finally gets one to go down. He heard you, that's why he, he made him mad. That man ain't trigger shot, he's shooting everything. Ooh, filet. 16-9, you see that? He I did. It. He put some aim. But I'm surprised you didn't go with that. I can't do it, but you oh, can. Oh, no, I can't. No, 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 no. I got, I got respect for that dude. But tween, no, tween. No. Oh, my God. And that's a nice pull up. He's a unique character, that guy. He is. Schmidt. Oh, OK. Schmidt gave that right to left. Still didn't convert, so. That's break city. No, no defense anymore. It was almost a play worth talking about. Northern Mariana Islands don't really believe in this win anymore, even though Lizama yeah, that's shoot just, it up. That's just going to make it look a little bit more respectable. But it's still a 2011 game. Sri Lanka, one point away from the win. Kicked out. Schmidt, can he there knock he another goes. one down? So now he's starting to feel it like a breakup. But it might be too little, too late. It surely is, Kyle. It surely is. Unfortunately for... And am I? Yeah, it looks like they're going to be having an early exit to their uh, debut Asia Cup. Uh, I don't see a seven-point game being uh, being much of a challenge. Sri Lanka again have gotten every bucket that they've. Uh, oh, not every bucket, but they've gotten everything they've wanted. They haven't uh, haven't been contested much at the rim. They're, they're getting buckets off the drive. Uh, this is a commanding victory for, for Sri Lanka. Not a matter of if, but when. Very likely before the uh, two, uh, two minutes and 25 seconds is up. Schmidt with some nice ball movement. Uzama, that time no good. Good hustle. Now it's Pawan. Cross court, why not? Two up, couldn't put the two down. The Sun can't get a handle on it. That's out of bounds. I believe whistled off of White. Yeah. Out of bounds off NMI. And one stat that is uh, noteworthy, zero fouls committed by Sri Lanka. And that's a game. That's it. That is it. That is all. 2-0 Sri Lanka cleaning up the plate. Thanks for playing. Sri Lanka, yeah, 2-0. Uh, relates to getting to the main draw. But it is in, into trying to really stomp their mark as they have score it, more points this time around. It's all about pride. And, and pride, of yep. course. It's and, all about pride. The, ne the, uh, the next, next time we see them out, which will be tomorrow when we wrap up qualifying draw action. But an 0-2 start, that is, uh, that's pretty much a death sentence for the main draw. Well, it is. But the thing is, you also want to not only save face, but have the satisfaction of going back home, having racked up a win. Sure, but you always feel better. There's a lot of teams that come out here with hopes of getting that win, and they go home empty-handed. And NMI might, I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. It's the way it is, man. You're going to have only one team qualifying, then you're going to have one team finishing last, and most of the time, somebody ends up winless, and other people ends up undefeated. You either show up or you get shown out. That's, that's the way it works. But uh, an opportunity to, to take it back uh, home, take the experience back. It's my favorite layup of the game. And uh, build for the next Asian Cup. It ain't going nowhere. We either seventh edition going on. I don't even, I don't know how many, but I hope a lot, and I hope that I'll be on the mic for most of them. That's the plan. All right, any, any, anyway, uh, we got about a seven minute break. That's what I'm being told. Uh, we got Kazakhstan and Tahiti uh, on deck and qualifying draw C action for the fellas. So again, a brief intermission. We got Korea against Indonesia first. Yes, you're right. You're right. Republic of Korea and Indonesia are first. Yeah, I'm skipping ahead. I'm fast forwarding. 
Uh, that's qualifying draw B action. So stick around. We're about five minutes away from check ball in that one as the action rolls on here in Singapore. The medium prize, which is a lot of future. And then, if you want to risk it all for three extra, you go to the two point line, you can get a deep backpack along with the other two prizes. However, if you're unable to make the two point shot, you lose it all. All right? So you understand the rules. All right, let's try. I want y'all to give it up for the time.
All right, all right, all right. We told you it wouldn't be long. And the action rolls along. One of five games remaining on this opening day of the Asia Cup. Kyle Montgomery, Angelo Sagarakis alongside the Republic of Korea coming out with three players this time. Uh-huh. What, what happened? happened? I'm, I'm not certain. I don't remember seeing in, uh, any injury or anything, but uh, apparently there, there will be some type of update at some point. Uh, I certainly... Okay, uh, no update, but just told that the guy with, that the third, their fourth, it, isn't playing. So, uh, and we're talking about big boy, Siok. Yep. Oh yeah, and I, I just, uh, I just saw that camera shot. Shout out to Coach uh, Sung Jun Lee. I saw him uh, and his lovely lady Sonia Orsu out here, and. Uh, Congratulations, now uh, the head coach of uh, the Republic of Korea. Maybe he can give me some insight on what happened with their uh, the player. That's for, that's for later. Anyway, uh, Indonesia has now taken the court in the Red Unis. They come off a seven point loss to Sri Lanka to start the day in the Republic of Korea with a 21-8 victory over Northern Mariana Islands. So their last body of work is in front of us today. How do you think they match up? It's going to be a challenge. Uh, the main thing now, Indonesia has an opportunity to utilize the strength and length of uh, Modu down low. How are they going to do it properly? Because they didn't use him as much as they could. And they are, it's not uh, only the responsibility of, of the teammates. It's only him and his aggressiveness. They have an opportunity right here to shuffle the cards in this group. Yeah, it's it's standing right in front of them. They got 10 minutes to decide, maybe less. But uh, I I do like the matchup, and I think that uh, you know we haven't seen the best from Indonesia yet. I'm curious about how the Republic of Korea yeah. is going to play, and and only having three guys, man. No substitute. That's man, tough. That, that's that's almost the like a kiss of death in 3x3. You know how much energy it takes to make it through a 10-minute game and then not have a sub. Right. And uh, I've seen Japan in the U18 World Cup uh, be heroic, literally wow. heroic, with only three players almost upset. A huge, huge favorite in the competition with only three players shooting the lights out. But I believe I saw a Chinese Taipei team make it all the way to the quarterfinals. It might have been here at the uh, at the Asia Cup. You would know better they, than me. And they were playing with three one time. It's a valiant effort, but that's exactly what the Republic of Korea are going to need here in this uh, next 10-minute sprint. Qualifying draw B. Fellas in action. Jason swings it over. Nice up fake. Gotta Somebody got to shoot it. That was uh, one fake too many. Right. So apparently there's a shot clock issue. Who's that running out there? Is that Julian? So they, they'll fix a small technical issue with the uh, Baudet shot clock and get a fresh 12 uh, up there. Managing their energy is going to be important, and I think for the Republic of Korea, it's vital for them to get off to a, to a good start. They're going to need some cushion because this game is only going to become more difficult for them as it wears on. You get beyond that five-minute mark, four-minute mark, and again, that's when that physical attrition starts to set in. You're tired. You, you, you tend to make more mental mistakes than you do at the beginning of the game, so they got to be they got to be sharp at the start. If, if they're going to win. And also, you have to identify, Kyle, who's not in, having a good day on your, in your opponent's squad. Yeah. Maybe you can pressure a bit less or cheat a little bit more defensively so that you save up more energy for offense. Or, or bait guys into taking twos that you are perfectly fine with them taking twos. So warning against Korea for coaching. Uh-huh. 
I told you, you can't do it. But you know, you know what happened? He literally was talking to his coach, like looking at him, talking to his coach, nodding his head. So, oh, I man. mean, it was that obvious okay. right okay. next to the ref. So, he come on, man. Well, he should have closed his eyes <laughs> next time. He should, he'll close his eyes next time and still say what he said. <laughs> and then there, there would be no warning. Next one's a technical, by the way. And I'm still standing on the rule book, Angelo. You cannot coach in 3x3. Well, Somebody, I've, been, I've been talking to a whole bunch of supervisors, brother, as okay. a coach. All right, all right. And the main thing is this. You cannot interact. You can yell out of your own lungs if you want, but you cannot interact. Meaning that, and I think that they understand the game, even though I, the whole notion of no coaching is something that is part of the initial rules of 3x3. Uh-huh. But... There is the whole side of preparation and the whole feedback and debrief after the games. And yes. I understand how players are autonomous or very close to autonomous during games. Um, but even in tennis, in tennis, it's something always very subtle. Because sometimes, and I think it was like um, Tsitsipas, the Greek player. <laughs> it's funny that it was the Greek player, tennis player, uh -huh. I say, that was speaking in Greek, but the referee could not understand he was speaking Greek and there was some coaching going on. It's okay. always like a subtle line and you're trying to get any advantage that you can. Uh, uh, of course, now I know that I know that to be true. Uh, I'm not mad at it. I think it's part of the whole like the, the experience and viciousness in a good way of the game. Well, I think that coaches are going to try to do it anyway. <laughs> and like you said earlier, hell, the players can hardly hear them most of the time. That's right. Oh, you know what I heard? I heard that swishy the swish. Splash. <laughs> Junior. Uh -oh. If Korea manages to find their groove long distance, having enough energy to get in the gaps, use their speed, and find opportunities to bring up the score early, they have a shot. Mm. Well, Republic of Korea. Just like that. Just like that, out to a 3-0 lead. Great finish with the left. Nice finish off the glass. Indonesia needs to pressure defensively, Kyle, if they want to have any chance of uh, qualifying into the next round. Yeah, they, this is an opportunity for them. Uh, and if I'm on an Indonesian squad, I'm saying we, there's no way we can let a team with no sub beat us. This is a game we should win. That should be their mentality, I, I would think. But I tell you one thing, if Indonesia beats Korea, Sri Lanka has one foot and three toes in, uh, in the next round. Oh, yeah. Well, a loss here, obviously, for Indonesia would drop in the 0-2. And uh, you know, that would that would spell disaster for them. But knowing that Indonesia lost 21-14 against Sri Lanka, and Sri Lanka having won both games, scoring 21, eh, there's uh, there's something there. There's something there as well. Nice drive with the score and the contact. Take that with you. As Jason steps up to the stripe, Jason Kurniawan for Team Indonesia. If Indonesia wins this game, they need to win it big. They need to win it scoring 21 and then hope that Korea can beat Sri Lanka with big margin. Got to handle business first. Right now it's deadlock at 3-3. All even. Republic of Korea Park He's held up by foul. On the drive, that is the first on Indonesia. Each team with a foul. All even in all categories. I'm trying to figure out the, the shoe model. It's the kind of, uh, are these the, the Earth, uh, the um, uh, UNESCO's? Nike UNESCO's? Because they kind of look, or is it the Jamarants? Maybe oh, you know you, better than me. No, you asking the wrong. I'm old, man. Well, but <laughs> you're around the game so much. <laughs> you know, I, I like, I I like, like certain shoes. shoes, man, I, but I couldn't tell you whose who's shoes are whose. I, I oh, respect oh, that. Oh, 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 oh my, my lord. That was beautiful. The Euro and then the extra sauce on the lane. 
And Indonesia going up with the defensive pressure. You got to get the offensive board, though. Can't get happy with contesting a shot. Miss left. Track down. Four three. Now Indonesia in front, slowed off the Great early lead pass. for Republic of Korea. No, they won't knock that down. Now Indonesia starting to get in their bag a little bit. Get it back to Jason. Force that one up. Nice fake. And a foul. Indonesia needs to play this game like their lives depend on it. If they lose, it's over. Uh, it is completely over. It's either going to be Korea or Sri Lanka, and they'll match up for, for the last ticket. If Indonesia wins, they still they are still alive in this tournament. So with the Republic of Korea missing one of their bigs, Jang Tae Siok. Jang Tae Siok is the player that they're missing. Right. They're trying to uh, defy the odds here and pull off a victory with no substitute. Three minutes in, it's a one-point contest, so hard, hard to put a finger on exactly what the temperature of this game is going to end up being when it's all said and done. That pass is stolen. They, now it's clear, clearly. And Wilson's moving around the perimeter. That two is up, does not go down. Mo Du, the 18-year-old up top. Junior, Frosty. Now there's something that is uh, bothering me. What's that? You see Mo Du, he's a beautiful athletic specimen. He's young, but yep. he has some good hands. He's very passive, but I don't know if it's the way they, they want to play. I don't know if there's a lack of trust. I don't know if there's a lack of confidence. But there is something where you need everybody to bring aggressiveness to the table if you want to have a shot at qualifying and stay alive in this competition. I get it. It's, but it is a it is a senior level event, and he is 18 years old. And, and, and you, most players aren't as assertive as they would like to be at 18 years old. They're, you know, it's a, it, this is a big stage for an 18-year-old. This is the Asia Cup, man. But at some point, if you're there, you deserve your spot on that squad. That's a fact, too. So That's the athlete in you and, no, and the coach in you talking sure, to. Sure, sure, yeah. because to me, is I, I count on my youngsters, and I give them a lot of responsibilities, Kyle, so I don't want them to be shy, and age is not going to be an excuse I'll ever take into account. If you're skilled, if you're competitive, just go out there and be a player. Sink or swim. I can I can dig it. I can dig it, Saw. Five three. It's gonna be a carry. Oh. You don't see that call much, but I I think the call you see least in 3x3 is probably what double dribble? How yeah. many how many double dribbles have you? Very rare. Very, very rare. Yeah. That's like a six-year-old violation. If you don't know that you can't <laughs> dribble the ball after you pick it up again, you, you're probably playing the wrong game. <laughs> Too bad for the Republic of Korea. That shot is wiped away. Foul committed prior to. Stays where it's at. 6-17 left. Got a couple of women's games still on the slate as well. And we'll see the Aussie men in Kyrgyzstan. That's that's one we'll be uh, looking forward to. Kyrgyzstan is in trouble, I'll tell you that. You think Kyrgyzstan's in trouble? Yes. Yeah, major trouble. If game one for Australia is any indicator, there's a lot of teams that could be in trouble. They want they want gold again. Junior. Off the glass, it's cash, it's a 6-3 game. I'll tell you one thing, Kyle, if this game stays a low-scoring item and Indonesia wins, we 85, 90% already know who's gonna be going to the next round. Yep, everything becomes official tomorrow, but the writing would be on the wall, that's for certain. Another whistle, that one on the floor.
because don't forget that in uh, the head-to-head -head matchup, Sri Lanka beat Indonesia. Second, was it the second game of the day? Yeah, 21-14. And then in the three-way tie, you end up with uh, whoever scores the most points. Oh, gangster slap. He threw that back with aggression. That's the type of defensive play that might ignite the team. Two point four ticks left on the shot clock for Indonesia. Modu will do the honors from the logo. Modu drops it off. Junior gets it up, and a narrow miss to keep the score exactly where it's at. Iso game. Come get you some. No. Foul White. That's number three on ROK. So Indonesia get it checked up from the top of the key. Just a shade over five minutes remaining. Buckets have not been uh, coming too often for either team. Oh, there you go. There's my dude showing some aggression. That's what you want to see out of the young fella, for sure. Oh, we got caught in a bad position. He's got to move his feet a little bit better defensively. So Indonesia now have one more foul to give. Questions still remain as to whether or not, even if uh, Republic of Korea get a win, if they're going to be full strength for the rest of this tournament. That that remains to be seen. We'll get more information on that, but you just never know. Oh, oh. Everybody's all right. There's number six now. No more to give for Indonesia. All the action coming at you here in Singapore from the OCBC Square at Singapore Sports Hub. Get comfy. Big boy move. He'll be here for five days. He's going to need some bubble wrap. He's moving people down there. So Indonesia with a one-point lead. Also with six fouls, so... This is a potential opportunity for the Republic of Korea to get on the line. And this game could be decided the free throw strike if they can put pressure on Indonesia. And, well, or Indonesia is going to make things bad on themselves. Is that a foul on Red? No. Nope. nope. That was actually called. Okay. That was, that was close. They both were battling for the ball. Yeah. That, that's the kind of that's the kind of play that can turn sour real quick. But for the Republic of Korea, that's exactly what you want, is to get Indonesia in foul trouble. They kind of even, even things up. Number one, it stops the clock. You need every breather you can get, and it puts you on the line. You got opportunities to score points without having to exert so much energy. Park couldn't land it. And an offensive foul is called on him. That's a huge defensive stop, Kyle, because now it's time to educate. Um, whenever you're in this situation now where the bonus is spending over your head and there's a play where there's a closeout situation, you're getting driven past uh, or you're closing out or there's a mismatch, anything where now there's a confrontation and a potential foul call based on strength and weaknesses of different opponents. Don't make that foul. Don't put your opponent on the free throw line. Don't give him those freebies. Let him score and prepare for transition. Try to take an open shot. Try to squeeze one past the defense as you know you're going to let them score one point and maybe you will get a, a wide open two point These shot. These are the nuances of 3x3. Right, right. Where because you create that transition offense. Right. No need for that foul. Again, let them go, sprint to the corner, get to your spot. Because so many teams got in trouble, Kyle. 
giving those freebies, those free throws, and moving closer to the double du to the double bonus. Yep. Great defense. You know what I'm gonna say, right? What? Get that second dribble in, open the angle, yeah. you got the whole middle. Yep, 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 yep. You've been preaching that point all day long. And I'll keep doing it so I can help out all those kids watching us right now and all those players and coaches learning the game. Details matter. Oh, Joan, you're rising up. Uh -oh. They didn't clear, they didn't clear. No, they did not. So that, those are, these are the mental lapses that I was talking about as you get become more physically tired. The mental lapses start to happen. Start to happen. You're not, you aren't as sharp. Game's still tight, but that's a mistake that you normally wouldn't see this team make. You gotta get that clear. Like, right. that wasn't even close. Oh. Nice move. And then, Park is in drive. They're fighting, they're tired, they're trying. One possession. Long ball, off target. Junior, tough take, Indonesia. The Indonesia needs more points. I'll give you the full breakdown after this, guys. Oh, nice feed. Good recognition, finding the mismatch on the inside. Junior turned the corner. Quick dribble, in and out. Misses the run and the hook. It's gonna be for Indonesia. Yeah, I, I, that looked like it went off. Yeah, yeah. Republic of Korea. 2.48 left. Uh, we won't be, good. nobody's gonna be scoring 21 in this one. Not even close. And that's, I'm telling you, Sri Lanka. Uh -oh. They got nine toes uh -oh. in the main draw. Turnover. The only I, thing that could still keep Sri Lanka out in the sense of certainty is if Korea gets that upset and manages to win the game. I know that Korea, you can see the hands on their knees. They're done they're, physically. They're, they're but gas. But this is where you've got to attack the rim. You've got to put pressure on the defense and, and also put pressure on the officials to blow the whistle. They've been sitting at, Indonesia's been sitting at six fouls for at least two minutes, oh, two and a half minutes. Even more. And, and, and you have, and they have not gotten to the free throw line as a result. And that would be their advantage in a matchup like this. So they're not using you type him. This enough. is what the, this is what they need to be doing. I'm, not, I'm okay with I'm okay with that shot rather than forcing up a two. But to me, I'm not okay with that shot. Collaborate. You're being guarded by a shorter guy, or get to the point where you force him to switch, so you get the shorter guy and you get close to the basket. They can't guard you anymore. They can't foul. Well, the, the and legs, you're tired. Also playing one on one, yeah. Kyle, is, is taking even more toll on you. And you also know that when you shoot the ball, you, your legs are the start of that. When you lose your legs, it becomes that much more difficult to knock down those looks from two land. Mark will feed it on the inside. M going to the spin move. The wrong way, though. Man, throws it to the wrong team. They give it right back. Nobody wants the risk. Nobody wants the risk. It's 10 to 7. Minute 38. Republic of Korea aren't out of it. And in case you're just joining us, they are without one of their players, so they are at a disadvantage. No substitute. Things get very interesting with an Indo Indonesian win. Well, it puts Sri Lanka in the driver's seat with a long way ahead of them. A comfortable cushion. For tomorrow. Because I'm already calculating and I'm oh, waiting yeah, for the final score. Yeah, yeah in terms of the, uh, the tiebreaker for Yeah, him. because the thing is this. It, let's say that Indonesia wins and Korea beats Sri Lanka. Now, bring out your calculator and let's look at whoever out of the three teams scored the most points. Well, guess what? Sri Lanka already has 42. Yeah, that's that's going to be tough to top, probably impossible. Oh, that's what I'm, I'll yeah. tell you as, as soon as this game is over, whether it's even feasible mathematically. I see the math is math. The <laughs> math is math. Yeah. They need points. Oh, man. This is not ideal for the Republic of Korea. They just. They just come off the tracks here in the last several minutes. They have not played high, high IQ 3x3 and, and being able to 
diagnose the advantages and take advantage of them. I agree. You know, no sub or, or, or with a sub. Junior. So the tire went out on that one too? He blew a tire. He blew a tire. <laughs> Junior. Oh, new hands. Now's All right. Time. This is a big possession. Big possession. Rolls off the iron. Indonesia. They can smell blood in the water now. Jason making his move. Double cross, driving the length of M. Made things difficult, broke up the play right as he was getting ready to shoot. Republic of Korea, they need some offense and they need it in a hurry. Down three, 40 seconds to go. Not exactly a two, but they need to see that, they need to see that Wilson go oh! in the net! I need to watch the replay, whether there was a landing foul. But they're alive. They're alive. Oh, Jason trying to respond. Oh, here we go. Are you kidding me? He's thinking about it. It might be a thriller. He's thinking about it. Thriller. He's Mark thinking about it. another one. Oh! Blah! Blah! Mama! Big shot. Puts Republic of Korea in front by one. Right when it looked like this, that they were dead in the water. But it ain't over with yet. We got 13 seconds left on the game clock. Indonesia could take the lead or tie. Modu, he drives, drop steps. That's going to go in. Go, Four seconds left. Two to shoot. To win. To get to the rim. Oh, it's going to go. They're going to shake it. They're going to shake it. They're going to shake it because I'm not sure it was in time, Kyle. Not sure. He might have had the ball in his hands. I'm not sure. I think that bucket is going to count. We're getting some drama here day one. And I'm Singapore. not sure. Oh, no, no basket. I wasn't sure. I told you. No basket. OT instead. The hang time kind of got him. Cause, oh, cause he, man. Because I'm sure he was trying to make sure that he wasn't going to get blocked. But that got him. It was almost clear, but I, I couldn't have it. But see, I wasn't sure 100%. See, this is kind of like the hang time. You uh, should have shot from, it right away. From that angle, you we you can't tell. Uh, man, but that was his club. Did he step out of bounds there? Maybe. But from uh, from that angle, impossible. Well, we got some. Hey, we got OT. First time, first time we got OT today. So, look, it was. It, I'm not gonna say that was the ugliest game of the day, but it was like the grimiest day game, and it ends up being the. The biggest thriller, the biggest. No, it, it was, uh, yeah, it was ugly. It was ugly, but it ended well. But that's what I'm saying. I mean, it ended, it's, it's ending well. That's what I'm saying. It's anybody's game. First to score two and OT wins oh, it. Oh, is he going to do him like that? Park, Mama, he's he been that man so far. Park receives Ooh, the rock. No, short, short, short. You knew it. You don't have to shoot. You don't have to. Because he holds down to the ball. No. Oh. They get a good look in Too the short. corner. Way short. Great contest, though. Here we go. Because he's he's a jump shooter, and he holds on to the ball so much, it makes it very hard for him to shoot very hard, very far. See? He's double clutching it. Oh! These goals ain't loyal. Good what luck. What a heartbreaker for that Korea. It's what you call window pane. Junior for the dub. Indonesia with the win in overtime. And you can see how dejected the Republic of Korea are. But again, big bank take little bank. And Indonesia was money in the end to get the W. So, do you All want right. to break down, Kyle? Break it down, break it down. All right. So guys, listen carefully. I told you if Indonesia wins this game, Sri Lanka is gonna have nine toes into the next round. And I wanna even say nine toes and half an another toe, the little toe. <laughs> Maybe the nail of the little toe. 42 points aggregate over the two games. Uh -huh. 
32 points aggregate for Korea and 27 points aggregate for Indonesia. So Indonesia is pretty much out. It's not official, but you understand the way the game goes. You're not going to have Sri Lanka only score five points the next game. So it would Indonesia be is pretty much out. Yeah, to say the least. It would be improbable. And now Korea still has a shot, but they need to beat Sri Lanka by a 11 points difference. You know, there was a scenario like this at the World Tour Final uh, two years ago where the Swiss, Team Lausanne, needed to win a game by 13 points. You need to win a game by 13 points, Czar. It was crazy. And they did it. You're right. And they did it. You're right. 22 to 9. I forget who it was. Gilles Martin started yes. his inning, those step back twos, it, and it was so. I, I, I say that to say this. No, no. You just never no. know. All right? You're right. You just never know. But you got you, you got the context. I gave you the, the numbers. Facts. You got the data. Thank you. So an 11-point win, and Korea makes it. Anything under 11 points is done. Yes. All right, we still got some unfinished business to handle as we uh, we got four games left. The men are still at center stage. Kazakhstan and Tahiti are next up, followed by Kyrgyzstan and Australia. Then women's QDC with India and Northern Mariana Islands, followed by Indonesia and Hong Kong. That is uh, what is on the schedule wow for the remainder of the day. <laughs> the schedule wow. The schedule wow. <laughs> <laughs> and here come Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, who did battle with Kyrgyzstan earlier, and emerged victorious 18 to 14. They got a shot at an unscathed record here. Day one of the competition. And for Tahiti, they, tr they struggled. Uh, let's see who they, they, oh well, yeah, they played uh, Australia. That, uh, <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 21 to 5 in that one. So, I like the uh, whole, uh, yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Some things go without being, uh, go without saying. It wasn't, it wasn't their best performance. But they have another fight in front of them. And a chance to turn the tide against Kazakhstan. There's Team Tahiti. Coach, what are you telling Team Tahiti coming into this matchup against Kazakhstan? Play your hearts out, no regrets. Compete. Get after it. Start to finish. I don't know how motivated I would be coming out of that huddle if that's what you said to me. Oh, I hope you would be motivated. I hope that you, coach. you would have pride and, and believe that you can compete. The main thing also about this kind of competition is that you reset the clock and you reset everything from one game to the next. It's like a it's, a, it's a completely different game. So you can write a different history. That's true, that's true. We talked about it earlier, short memory. Short memory in 3H3. That's, that's so you, to so plays you compete, and games. Would you come out and oh, compete, you know sir? I would. You there would. you go. But you told me you didn't know, so I do you know even, now? I wouldn't even need a pep talk. <laughs> I hope so. You know, and uh, 
Man, the weather has been ideal today. I, outside, it was pretty hot when we first got right, here. Right, right. I was so worried about the heat and humidity. It is beautiful. What a night. Right. We're under the lights. Under the lights. As we head down the final stretch of day one's competition. Asia Cup back of the way. Here we go. Kazakhstan cannot get their first shot to land. Mid range misfire. Two ball from the corner to Hedy. A stroke also is a stroke. I'll tell you one thing, Kyle. Don't forget, though, Kazakhstan is no Australia. So, the, the complexion of this game might be slightly different. Um, I, I expect Tahiti to be more competitive. And more comfortable. One, one because they aren't playing the Aussies, okay? Uh, but also because when you lose one like that, you score five points. If that doesn't light a fire underneath your, your butt, then I don't know what will. You gotta, you gotta play with some pride now. And they heard you. Great execution in the bucket. Straight to the rack. Oh, that 45 on the right-hand side, I told you. Man, there's Diver deep. Kaliev, too small. And now has it again. He will swing it left. Oh, the trickery. Good, Kaliev Kaliev locked and loaded. He fires it well and misses it right. Got a foul underneath the bucket. Last four games of the day, Kyle. Yep. Uh, qualifying draw C for both the men and women to we'll close out the day. Too much strength. And that attempt from deep. So Tahiti's going to try to work inside out. Not a bad idea when you got a big boy like that. Push it back. So the fourth foul of Kazakhstan. That's uh, that's not a great start defensively. The swing through. Good pass. Oh, nice dish. And that's great court awareness, knowing where you brought the help side defense and where your teammate is going to be based on that coverage. Because he didn't really have vision on a, on a pass like that. Yeah. And Kazakhstan, already 14 fouls. That could be a factor later on in the game, knowing that we haven't even played two minutes yet. Those fouls can kill you. And that can give a Tahiti a lot of confidence. Down to the block they go. Spin move, drop step, whistle. There you go. There you go. Oh, Lord. I ain't gonna take it to the high notes like I did earlier. We've been, we've been yelling all day, so I decided to... To save it up a little? Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. You, you got a little, little spring in that. You know, I got a little soul in there. I got a little soul in there. So I like it. Unfortunately, oh, oh, oh. you want me to give you, like, uh, a secret? That's not really a secret, but a secret. I was in a choir all the way till I was 12 years old. Really? And then my voice, <laughs> like puberty hit, and it hit hard. Like <laughs> Did they have hearing problems at this uh, church? It, it wasn't a church, it was like a school choir. Oh, okay. I was in the school choir. Wow. Well, you know, I'm going to have to show, show me. I'm gonna show <laughs> no, me. I can't show you no more. <laughs> well, I don't want you sitting here singing to me, uh, especially on the broadcast, but at some point, you're going to have to show me an example of that verifies this uh, ability of yours to sing. Well, I'm not saying that I had any ability. I just said I was in the choir. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm not claiming that's, anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's like being on the basketball. That's like saying you can hoop. Well, I was, I was, a, basketball team. I was a lead, though. That's true. But oh, see, now, okay. I, I got to tell you the truth. But the main thing is I also said <laughs> puberty hit me hard, man. <laughs> My voice just ended up being what you hear today. 
I'd, I'd say it's worked out for you. I appreciate it. I think it. you made the right choice. I think so, too. But I, you know what? That's new, that's new news for me. I, in case y'all didn't know, Angelo Zagarakis was a part of Glee Club. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he was hitting the high notes. He's doing the doo-wop, doo-wop. <laughs> doo-wop, doo-wop. <laughs> Oh, that's the oh. sixth foul, by the way. It is the sixth foul. You know I'm going to get you for the do what do what You know that, right? You shouldn't have told me that. I'm just thinking jokes and jokes for the rest of the time. No, keep, keep doing it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. At the end of the day, those do what do what guys, they get the girls. So, anyhow, back to Tahiti against Kazakhstan. That, that was true. But you wouldn't get the girls because of your voice back then. You, you got it because you had hair back then. <laughs> For that, sure. That's that's the reason why. You, you know what I got, and it's going to speak to all our Asian basketball fans. I had the uh, Sangoku and, uh, and uh, I'm trying to remember his name. Uh, all the Dragon Ball Z fans out there. Vegeta. I got the Vegeta. Vegeta. Oh, the Vegeta. Vegeta hairline now. Vegeta. Vegeta hairline. Man, I ain't finna even talk about my hairline. We're not gonna make that public information. No, you, you, your hairline's looking better than mine right I've now. I've missed it. I've missed it for quite some time. But now that you see it, Vegeta. Yes. You get it, right? Yes. There you go. <laughs> All right. Tahiti oh, have yeah. opportunities to get in the lead, yeah, but they're blowing on, it. Don't we? we do. What are we talking about Lee Club and hairlines? What the hell? Well, what's going on? It is what it is, man. Sometimes <laughs> it is what it is. You know, when it gets this late in the day. It is. It gets a little squirrely sometimes. Uh, you can. And it would help if the game was actually. Well, past 2-2, two -two, yes, because he's been stuck on 2-2 two -two for the past minute and a half. But the main thing is, Tahiti, you see the missed layup right here from Wushon. Wushon. You, you see the missed free throws. And if they don't capitalize on those opportunities to get in the lead, build the lead, well, Kazakhstan is gonna, is gonna fight back. Kazakhstan, they, they should, theoretically, they should be in a, in a hell of a lot of trouble. Seven fouls with seven minutes to play. And, and, they, and they don't have a big lead, they don't have a lead at all. It'd be different if they had, a, say, a six point lead, right? Right. And then you can afford those seven fouls to, to a degree. But to have seven fouls, and two points? The, oh, it's not looking good, but sometimes. You couldn't ask for a better situation if you were for, Tahiti. Yeah, Tahiti's you in could control. could not ask for a better situation. Are they going to play smart? That's the question. Oh, cookies. Put the cookie in the cup. Samson. Strong bucket. Strong rebound. Easy money. Samson had a, a nice opener. One got splashed in the face. 45 on the right hand side. <laughs> 4 3. Oh. Well strong. Well strong on that attempt. And now it's time for a break in the action. Tahiti in front. And they will hope to uh, maintain that lead throughout. I think it's going to. This, If there's any time that you're going to feature your big man on the inside who stands 206, Michael Roshan. This this would be the time, right? And it would be. He's 206. I tell you what, though, right now Tahiti is kind of going away from what made them successful in the first minutes, drawing all those fouls. They collaborated and uh, forced Kazakhstan to switch and, and uh, end up with a matchup with uh, Mukidinov against Wushon or um, Summers, uh -huh. but they haven't found that matchup again for the past three minutes. Uh, wait, there's some confusion here. I think it should be red ball, actually. Yeah, I think it should be Tahiti ball. But Kazakhstan were starting the possession. Yeah, there we go, there we go. They got a good record. They almost got away with one right they there. They got the matchup they won right now with Summers. Well, don't force it. I would have done the actual opposite. I would have given it to Rouchon and have the spin around lob pass opportunity with Summers. They're doing it with a matchup over there where Rouchon doesn't have as much of a size advantage yeah. as Summers. Yeah. And, and that's recognition right here because they can execute it on both sides. Travel. 
That will give the ball back over to Kazakhstan, most certainly. Kaliyev will open the possession. Samson sets the screen. It's a great uh, sets screen. Sets up a good look, and there's the deposit in the bank. Seconds. I would have said a travel, actually. See the, the slippity slip of the pivot foot. I think, I think Mokhaidinov can be an X factor in this game, too. He could. Level, you know. He could. You know, just use the glass. Oh, nice spin move. Certainly a foul right there. I think out of the bigs, Samson's the, the more aggressive of the two. He, even though he's undersized in the matchup, and he's a big boy himself. I think he's 201, 202. He's but slightly undersized. Slightly, but... But he's strong. Exactly. He's, he's combative. I use this, this is an old school uh, reference, but you think about players like, uh, say, Zion Williams. Yeah. He's a strong player in the post. He's not the tallest dude you'll see. Charles Barkley's another player was a monster on the glass, but it was all about his aggression and his attack. He could post. And he could get up. He That's could also dominate one of the dudes main thing. bigger than him in the post. Right, right, right. Because if you're that. bouncy, if you have good timing, if you have good skill set, once again, you can't teach size, but basketball IQ and skill is something else. Through the there contact and in for the lay. This game continues to stay tight. Kaliyev drops it off, or so he thought, that is stolen away. And that's a huge steal for Tahiti. And Larry's trying to create. And Wilson is loose. Got to clear. Got to clear. Got to clear. Yeah, oh, guys. Yeah, change possession. Oh, guys. So Larry Tarii Tematawa. Oh, I, I, yep. Yeah. Yeah, Teddy Timatawa. Yeah, yeah. Teddy Timatawa. Oh, look at you. Teddy, Teddy. Okay, stop. <laughs> I can't say it fast. I got to. Teddy Timatawa. I got to enunciate it slowly. I like the Teddy T. Teddy Timatawa. Teddy Timatawa. Teddy Timatawa. You got it, go. baby. You got it. Oh, yeah. Now we go. Oh. <laughs> Bog down this. with the nonsense. Oh, see. He catches me off guard. He catches me off guard with these sometimes. And I can't help but to laugh on air. Some people are like, what is he laughing at? Well, that, like we can share with the with um, our audience that we always have Bogdan or Alex in our ears with crazy references or comments. We yeah. wish we could share most of it, but, but we can't. A, but it's a family program. It is. So <laughs> trust us. I would love to repeat some. But we love you guys, so keep doing it. 6-5. <laughs> Kazakhstan. With a slim advantage. Strong take. Man. Past two defenders. And you see, chucking up that two point shot right here. They're lucky as uh, Rouchon got that offensive board, but the Heat is not really building the, the game the way they should at this moment. Honey solved two piece combo. Oh. Big hit for Kazakhstan. Gives him some breathing room. Three-point lead with 420 and counting. And like just get it up on the rim, just shoot it. Bouchon has a size advantage for the offensive board. Kazakhstan have not picked up a defensive foul in, in about two and a half, three minutes, huh? Over three minutes. Right, right. They had they had seven fouls in the first two and a half minutes of this game. And that's Tahiti. Not putting pressure on it, not being able to earn any whistles. And Kazakhstan to continue to put the pedal to the metal. And they will now head to the strike, shooting one. That's the fifth on Tahiti, but Samson can extend this advantage to four points. Tahiti has one more freebie to give, and then it's going to be a bonus for them as well. So the game has shifted. Did Tahiti's opportunity disappear? I don't know, but they need to figure it out and quick. I don't think it's disappeared yet. It's disappearing. But I think a two-pointer, a two-pointer 
will probably put Tahiti in a more panicked state. Maybe looking at that six point deficit. That was our, our way to convert there, but. The defense, oh. They didn't clear. Oh, they didn't clear it. And they got lucky because that would have been a foul. And, right, that would have been an one. For sure. So a little bit of a blunder on that, uh, that last possession. It's time for a media timeout in a critical game here on the men's side. Group C of the qualifying draw. Kazakhstan with their destiny in their own hands after an 18-14 win over Kyrgyzstan. And Tahiti just trying to fight for their lives. A must-win situation for them. And right now they trail by, make that two. 10-8 contest. Kali, yeah. How he missed that. Strong take. That's what they needed to do earlier, Kyle, to harass the rim, go and get contact, put pressure on the refs like you uh, like you described pressure, it earlier. Pressure, to, pressure, to, to whistle. To blow the whistle, for sure. And now they let this man hit up, and he's trouble. And they left. They left the door open, and and again, Kazakhstan still have not picked up an eighth foul. So I, it depends how you look at it. It's either credit to Kazakhstan for adjusting, being, adjusting right. and playing some great defense over these last six minutes. Or how much do you point the finger at Tahiti for, for not forcing the issue? I think I think there's, it works both ways. I think it works both ways. Credit Kazakhstan because they have played sound defense, clean defense, but also Tahiti. You have got to pressure them driving to the rim. Yeah. No, no other way to put it. Twelve nine. That one is thrown away. Two and a half left. Hit him with the hezzy. Beautiful use of the pivot. Fade away needs some work. And that's a that's a freebie right there. The ball given right back by Timur Kaliev. Oh, good piece. understanding. They snuffed that one out. And then they recognize the mismatch. That pass, though, off target. And that, that cost them what was going to surely be a bucket. If you lob it, just don't lob it close to the rim because he, he can hit the rim. Just lob it right through the middle of the paint and let your big man handle it. Sometimes that rim is an extra defender. You're right. Konisov travels. Can't take two steps if you haven't dribbled before that. Good pass, good catch, good finish. Man, that was on the top floor. That's the only, that's the only place to put it for the big. And the steal. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's kicked, right? Fresh 12 for Tahiti. And that's a great save by Konisov. We just had an overtime thriller. Could we, could we be in store for maybe another one? Who knows? It's too early to say. Two minutes to go. Lot can, lot can happen in a... Uh, 120 seconds. Oh, oh, cookies. That would be a big bucket. That would be a huge bucket. Quick hands. That was a, gotta turn that defense to offense. 16 foul against Tahiti. Crunch time. Maui Rupinia. Man. Up I, high, but. It's been a stretch of six minutes 
game on, on the game clock. But Kazakhstan has not committed a single defensive foul. Still playing strong defense. Oh, and the offense is coming too. Well, you can uh, give big credit to this man right here, Konosov. Wide open misses. The mess is cleaned up to an extent underneath. Technically a, a one possession game. A three point difference with a buck 08. So, timeout requested by Kazakhstan. Time to regroup. And in each huddle, what do you anticipate the, the conversation is like for Tahiti and also in that Kazakhstan hub? Well, obviously it's going to be a different conversation because they're not in the same position. Sure. Um, Kazakhstan, it's all about clock management and making sure they don't give free throws. They're in the lead. They're, they have no reason for any situation to give up a foul at this point. They have weathered the storm. And Tahiti now is in the same situation. They cannot play defense the way they used to. Yep, next defensive foul, they're in the penalty. Minute left. Wild shot, loose ball. And now Kazakhstan in total control. Kaliev, up fake. If he knocks it down, it's over. It's over! That's it's a dagger. It's done. More devastating than Arya Starks. Finito. And the turnover is literally just tightening up the cap on the jelly bottle. It's over. Five point game, and I, yeah, I'm not going to be one, the one to argue with you. Oh, it's done. Yeah. I'll, it's done. They have to foul, and if they don't, they just need to eat up the clock, and it's over either way. Each second that go by. Brings Kazakhstan closer. Yep, let's see. 34 seconds left. Uh, yeah, that's that would be three possessions. Barely. But yeah, because you always have that the, the clock running as the ball is in the air yep. and yep. and as someone recovers possession of it. Yep. Because if you uh, if you're a bit smart and experienced players do that, it's kind of like the ball goes through the hoop and it bounces once, it bounces twice, then you get it. But yep. those two bounces, it's eating up clock. And all that, yeah, all that, all that matters in the grand scheme of things. Samson putting the finishing touches on another Kazakhstan win. We're just waiting on the final horn. Oh, ankle, oh, ankle. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I you saw that. You don't want to see that at this point in the game where you got oh, it Oh, this is silly. But the thing is this, and I, I don't want to sound cruel at all. Why do you drive? Yeah, Why do you drive? I, I, I get it, but. it. I just feel bad for him. I feel real bad for him because I see, I think it, either he stepped on the foot or his foot kind of gave out on him. Well, it's the, it's the heat of the competition, and I think he's just trying to get another bucket. But, but again, they should be looking for a two. But, but they don't need it because they won the first game. See what I'm saying, Kyle? Yeah. They're, 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 they're going to be 2 and 0 after this game. Yeah. No, you're, you're, you're so right, there is no right. like point average. They're setting up. They're, they're setting themselves up to be in a matchup where, look, we win, we go. We don't. Well, the other team goes. Well, I'm, I'm certainly hoping that he's okay. That he's going to be okay. Hate to see anybody get get in for sure. He, he went down immediately. And I, I got a glimpse of that of that twist. Final few ticks. Oh, get over here. Go over there. Final shot. And it's 17 to 11. Kazakhstan over Tahiti. Best. I was here for Timur uh, Kaliev. He went down with that, that uh, ankle injury. He's a key player for this team. He's able to put a little bit of weight on it, but he's not playing tomorrow. I'm letting you know you right now. You don't think so? No, he's not playing. Yeah, he's hardly moving. 
No, no, man. And that's only going to get that's only going to get stiffer overnight. Like, and, and I tell you, like Bogdan told us, he, like that it was pretty bad look on the replay. Yeah. And the way I saw it, like it was a very clear uh, ankle sprain. Yeah. And when it sprains that bad, and I don't think he's taped. As a matter of fact, I don't see any kind of tape job on his ankles. And that's the reason why you want to do preventive taping when you're yep. playing in competition. I understand maybe not taping your ankles every day in practice, even though at the highest level, you tape and you don't discuss, you tape. And in competition, taping should be mandatory for everybody. And unfortunately, that could, that could cost him uh, tomorrow's action. But you never know. Maybe he's used to have ankle sprains. You have also pain tolerance that are very uh, different for everybody, but I would say that it's tough. It's encouraging to see him walking off on his own power. He's hobbled, no, no doubt. But you know, if let's say that ankle is in worse condition, they're carrying him out of this venue as opposed to him walking out on his own power. But maybe he's just a tough sucker. He's a tough son of a gun. <laughs> that could be true too. <laughs> like. His team shows some toughness. Kazakhstan, 17-11 over Tahiti. We got one more men's game remaining on today's slate. Kyrgyzstan and Australia. Mate, let's get to it. Let's see if the Aussies can uh, repeat the type of performance that we saw from them earlier today against Tahiti. Kyrgyzstan should, should form a... I think a more formidable challenge here. But we'll see. We'll see if uh, if Australia's identity remains the same. It's hard to gauge. They look good, but it's hard to gauge them against, and no disrespect to Tahiti, but it's hard to gauge them against uh, Tahiti. I, I agree. I mean, as we know, Kyrgyzstan, Tahiti, those teams right now are not going to be, even if they were to make it to the main draw, they're not quarterfinals candidate. No. You just know. It's the way it is. When you're thinking quarterfinals, you're thinking about teams such as Japan, New Zealand, Australia, China, China yeah. uh, Mongolia. Like, this is what it's supposed to be. Of course, you got the opportunity to show us wrong. Kyrgyzstan is going to have one right now. But... At the end of the day, you want to see how they respond. And Kyrgyzstan seems to be a team that's going to be a bit higher up competition-wise than Tahiti. And let's see if it's going to be the same story or if Australia approaches it in a different way. Well, Kyrgyzstan losers to Kazakhstan by four. So it's, it's a must-win situation against them. And I'm sure they probably got a look scouted Australia earlier and I wouldn't say they should be shaking in their boots but well they, they know they know this they, they know this full. team is a tough team right so team Australia with James Alexander O'Donnell Joshua Samuel Davey Todd Blanchfield William David Hickey the three-time Asia gold medalist. Not the same players, but the same country. You know what I mean. It's Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan with Evgeny Pekov, Nurtai Sabin Bekov, Timurlan Kapakov, and Zanish Adiev. Last opportunity for the men to uh, put on the show for us here on uh, day one. Final two games of the day. We'll do, uh, the ladies will do the honors. Still a solid crowd out here tonight. Australia's got a nice little uh, fan section. The Aussies are going to start with the Wilson. Qualifying draw C. Hickey on the move, pulls up. Mitty was broke. 
Kapako will hand it off. He oh, will get yes. it back. Beautiful oh, action. Yes. That's how Kyrgyzstan want to start. Miscommunication defensively. Paid in full. Oh, Nicky. He tips like an American tourist. <laughs> Do Americans tip is that, that good? I don't I, know. I, I, th I thought we had that reputation. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Well, the system is different. You guys are more used to to, uh, to tip, for sure. Uh, yes. Hickey with the hick up. Stopped and going on him. He's super aggressive I, early. I like his game. I like his game. And you should. Lanceville. A great seal position. Donald. Right on the money. Touchdown. Establishing advantage early, give, giving it a clear path for Blanchfield to pass it. Oh. Stop. Five. Shut it down. Open up. Shot. Oh. Three. Three. Oh. Dino. That was nice. That was nice. I mean, I took it too far. I thought it was nice. <laughs> but that, that was a nice shot. And you know, we heard that sweet sound of the. I love it. Hopefully we hear a whole lot more of that in this game. Hickey to O'Donnell. He's denied at the at the rim. Peckoff with some good defense. That ball deflected O'Donnell. Either pass it up or wrap it around. Hickey. Oh man, he's got, he didn't didn't just do what you love so much. He got the pace, the euro, the control. I'm, hey, I, I'm becoming a fan. I got it. I like his game a lot. Hickey is deep in his bag, man. And he's, he's wearing the, the Kobe sixes. He's crafty. He's quick off the dribble. He's tough. Good size too. I'd say he's probably he's be about six three, six four from here. Oh. You think so? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I think I think he's a solid six five. Uh, you know what? From from this angle, yeah. I think he's a solid 6'5". Okay, he's bigger than me. I don't like that. <laughs> See, I'm sizing him up. And, all right, he's 6'5". We'll give it to him. Adiev, two peaks on the way. Missed. Hickey. He's dangerous. Iso game. No choice but to foul that man. And the choice is made. Hickey takes it upon himself whenever he's guarded by Adiev or Kapakov. He's like, uh uh, guys, space out. I got y'all. Strokes it at the strike. Hey, hey. Hickey, he Hickey to... lost his focus for a second. He thought he could literally just... a dead ball situation, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, coach. You got to tell him this now. 6 3. There's one thing that I don't like about Australia's defense early in this game. They're not focused on the switches. They end up with two people on the ball multiple times, giving uh, clean opportunities to Kyrgyzstan. And that's not a good look defensively. You cannot just count on Hickey's to. to to shine offensively, to take you where you want. You got to figure it out defensively as well. Well, the Aussie teams of, of the past and route to these three gold medals have always keyed themselves on defense. Right. You know. But right now, they're, they're not as focused as game one. And Kyrgyzstan is a team that executes 3x3 collaborations to a really good level. They're very decent with that. And if you make the mistake of jumping two people on the ball or not communicating and, and diving two, two guys on the dive man and uh, allowing them to take open looks, they become a very dangerous team. You got to keep pressure on them. You got to play defense solid, communicate, make sure you don't give them easy looks. I think it's, it's as simple as, uh, as them not being Tahiti. <laughs> okay. Kyrgyzstan is a different level team. And, sure. and, and now Australia, this is this was not going to be a walkover game. Now, obviously, we don't know who's going to win it, but 
I would be shocked if, if Australia just beat them down. I, I don't expect this to be a double-digit win for Australia. And I think they could win it by five or six. Yeah, but I, I agree with you, Kyle. The main thing for me is more so what kind of looks you're giving your opponent. It's yeah. not about them making shots. It's about what kind of things you're allowing them to get. Practicing the right habits. Yep. Oh, yes, That's sir. a carry. He had it on his hip like fanny pack. Got like a Blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback. Throwback. Like a sidekick, T-Mobile. Facts. Oh, that's, my. that's an inside conversation. We, me, and, me and Angela was talking about this last night. Don't if ask you, us why. If you, if you guys don't know, just Google sidekick T-Mobile. That one broken up. Oh, Donald. He gets to it. Nicky. Offensive foul call. And setting that screen. TV timeout time. And we got ourselves a game, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what, Kyle. When you see the way uh, Team Australia is built, they got size with all four guys. They're strong and athletic. So the main thing defensively is you're going to switch. You can afford to switch. And you need to communicate, and you make life miserable for most opponents because you got to make them work that much harder and collaborate that many more times for them to find some kind, some kind of gap. But if you're nonchalant or losing focus defensively, you're allowing them to get open layups or get open shots, and then you make your life hard on yourself. Kind of like this, for example, Hickey and, um, and uh, Davey were almost both jumping on the ball. And if the pass was well adjusted on the dive quicker, it would have been a wide open layup. Yeah, that pass, that's what caused Kyrgyzstan. Hickey, he's on attack mode to get it to Davey. He air mails it. Foul on the floor. And that is just number two on Australia. Kyrgyzstan, by comparison, have five fouls. More fouls than points at the moment. We were talking about Modu. You told me he's 18 years old, right? Yes. But isn't O'Donnell 18 years old? Yes. So that's what I mean. You see the what I'm trying yeah, to say? The difference in, the men in mentality. Yeah. Like O'Donnell is a factor on yeah. his team. Yeah. He's, he's strong and he, he plays like he is strong. And Modu could do that. So I encourage the kid to, to think that way. They nearly threw it away. Hickey's got the green light, but not a green release. Okay, then. Off. Got the step. Tough defense. Blanchfield. Oh, he gets the friendly roll. First look for him in this game. That, that touch was soft as your mother's. 9-4. And Australia in this game right now has been relying a whole lot on Hickey's one-on-one -on -one ability when you remember how Lynchfield started the previous game. They can hit you inside, they can hit you outside. They got guys capable of making a difference individually. So it's all about, for them, keeping that focus. That's a wide open look. Deep attempt, missed. Great Size attack. To drive. Oh, 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 oh. Four. Nine, four. That shot got rerouted. That's in the front row right now. We got to get a replay of that later. See what I'm trying to say? You see what I'm trying to say? Oh, Donald's getting to it. He's not an 18 year old, he's a player. He's a ball player. Miss on the rim. Halfway through this one, Blanche failed. Couldn't land it. Davey to O'Donnell. O'Donnell! Late call, but right oh, call. Yeah. He's big and nimble. Long as the beanstalk. This kid at 18 years old, he's only going to get better. If you ever make a move like that, at 2.06. Great footwork. The skill set is there. The toughness also is. The free throw shooting, a bit less. Yes, it's. Reminds me of Shaq. 
See, that's what I'm saying. If you have size advantage, if you're strong, well, play hard. Go about it like you mean it. And most of the times, it's going to go in your favor. Six point advantage for Australia. Silver medalist at the 2023 edition had one goal the three previous editions. Staying active, but you gotta make, you gotta make those count. Adiev using the screen. Adiev has the shot deflected. O'Donnell gets it to Hickey. Hickey, don't you turn your back on me? Swung out. That was thrown back like retros. Pekov, this time showing some of his defensive prowess. Three seconds. Iso mode activated. Hickey's going to go right at Subambikov. Oh, the Hezzy. Got to shoot it. Lunchfield forgot about the clock. That Hezzy's tough, though. It is tough. He's shifty. He's athletic. That goes. Never really got set on that shot. This is a set shot. All day long. Still does not go down. See Blanchfield with the crossover? That wasn't fooling nobody. He just. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't fooling nobody. <laughs> Gotta get the hips and the shoulders into it. <laughs> Can't put He's like a. He's like a sports sedan. He's like a. Mercedes E-Class. He was trying to convince people that he's a Porsche or something. Ain't nobody buying that, bro. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, Blanchfield. Well, I'll tell you what. Mercedes is still nice, isn't it? Oh, no. Get, don't get me wrong. Oh, Hickey. Oh, Hickey. Count it plus the foul. He woke up in beast mode. TV timeout. 42 left and well, well we remember what you said about Australia beating down on Kyrgyzstan. Well, I said that I didn't expect it to be a double digit win. I did say that I wouldn't be shocked if it was six, you know, five or six, maybe maybe seven. Uh, <laughs> you didn't mention no, seven. I, no, I, th I, I think I said eight. I think I said like maybe eight or even nine, but not double digit. <laughs> I'm just saying, I just roll the tape back at some all, point. All I, all I hear is a Ricky Ricky Pum, Ricky 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 remix. I that's all forget. I hear. No, that's all I hear. Let me tell you something. I never forget, and that's what I said. It ranged from um, from five to nine, right? <laughs> <laughs> As a friend, I must say, yeah, you're right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> As a friend. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it ain't over with. We're going to see. No, but the problem is Kyrgyzstan now is... In the, in the it, double penalty. No, it, not the double penalty, but, but they're in it, the penalty. In the penalty. And the, the problem is that Kyrgyzstan is now not finding the the open looks that, that Australia was allowing them to find earlier in the earlier minutes. So... It becomes tougher and tougher. They, they got no rhythm from the outside, and they can't get open looks anymore. There you go. Turnover. Hickey, two for two at the line. And uh, this dude is the real deal. No mirage. 14 to five. And Australia, you know, they're... I think the most dangerous teams are, are you pick your poison type team. Right. That means that one through four, they can feature any any one of them as their primary option. How do you how do you prepare for that? Right. But based on the opponent, based on what you're putting on them, they can hurt you many many ways. And not many teams in this competition is capable of doing that. Yeah. Many teams are capable of hurting you a certain way and hurt you bad, but Australia can do it in all kinds of ways. Waiting too much. And Blanchfield, once again, uh, too unselfish. You know, he, while he has the ability to score, 
I, I think that's more in line with his with his game. He, he's more a player that prefers to set guys up. But if you need if you need him to get buckets, he, he can. Three minutes to go, and first layup is missed. Maybe down to O'Donnell. O'Donnell, get out the way. Not playing around with nobody. Get out the way. He made Peckoff look like a little boy. 18 years old. Let's see. 18. That means that he was born in 2006. Yeah. Oh, Based man. on his month of birth, yeah. I got T-shirts older than him. <laughs> I got pairs of socks that I still got older than him. 18? Man, that's 2006 is crazy, man. I was uh, I, I was leaving college. I was a redshirt sophomore at Oregon State. That's crazy, man. Oh man, damn, we're old, man. <laughs> we are now. Ten point game, exactly what I said uh, it would be. Uh, check the tape, man. Great defensive effort by Yiki. Hickey, down to Davey. Davey's a bruiser. And it took a while to give him the ball. He was open since the very beginning of the possession. See, that's, these are the situations where I'm unsatisfied with Australia's defense. They are not clear with what they're doing. They're not clear. Well, you don't know who's really supposed to pick up the ball, who's supposed to uh, switch. They're... I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to uh, defend them. You're complaining about their defense that's held Kyrgyzstan. Well, to I got five the right points. to do it once again. <laughs> I got the right to right. do it. Because Kyrgyzstan is not one of the favorites in this competition. No, Don't forget but that. They're, they're a team that should be able to score more than six points. Depends against who. Yeah, was as of right. right now, they're not better than Kazakhstan. Yes, true. True. But come on, man. I'm not, that's the thing though. I'm a fact teller and I'm speaking the truth even though the truth might be a little harsh at times. The main thing is this, I'm pragmatic and I love everybody. And, right. I, I, and, and the reason that I say things in, I, in the realest way I can possibly do it is because I want to give you facts for you to be able to build on and, 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 I think, and, also and expand. I, not to cut you off, but I think that you're not just evaluating Australia in this particular right, game, right, 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 you're right. looking for them to set trends and, and and start and show you the right habits. And right now, you're seeing something that's alarming defensively. And while it won't cost them against Kyrgyzstan, you could see it potentially cost them in the future if they continue. Of course, of course, right. because because that's the main thing. It's like, and, and I'm so glad you pinpointed exactly my my thought process when I mentioned something. I want to give you that feedback because. The way you play one game is the way you're supposed to play every game. That's true. So that's all I'm saying. I got it. Establish the right habits. Uh, right now, they got a habit oh, of winning. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh O'Donnell. O'Donnell. Drop it, in. It went from winning oh. to, <laughs> to ow. No. Oh, no. Minute seven left. I guess the only question now is, are they going to hit 21 points? But I tell you one thing, though, and I'm, I'm picking on those little details because details matter so much in life. So that's why I'm always emphasizing it. Uh, but they're responding. We, we waited to see how they were going to behave in the second game against a better opponent. Well, we know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But like I said, like... I knew it from the very beginning. Like I said, this was probably, this is at least going to be a 10 point victory for Australia. And it could be as high as maybe even 13 or 12 because uh, they're playing that well. So I'm just going to pat myself on the back pretty much and just say that I called this. <laughs> 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 I, that's, I mean, guys, guys, let him have say? it. I'm let like, him have it in the commentary know, section, please. No, I'm just like Nostradamus. I just predict things <laughs> and they usually happen. So. In bad faith. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> It's yeah, okay, man. No, you know what? You know what? Let, 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 I got to give you love because the main thing is this. You like for teams to improve. You like for teams to give a good battle. And you you were hopeful and you try to speak it into existence. Well, you know, I, I don't. 
for me, I don't care who wins. I want to see a good game. Yeah, I agree. And, and for Australia, of course, they want to they want to blow the doors off of everybody. But for me, I'd like to see a competitive game. So I think I was wishful thinking to hope it was closer. I don't care who wins. Uh, but th this this wasn't close in any way. Oh, 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 where did he go? Exclamation mark. Hard jab. Look at, ain't nothing over there for you. That's the way to top off the win. That's an exclamation punch from the 18-year-old rising star. And right now, the boys from down under are on top after two games. Kyrgyzstan is out of the tournament officially, even though they still have one game to play. Wow. Uh, that was commanding. It was, wasn't it? Even more dominant than I uh, thought it would be or could be. Kyrgyzstan kind of fooled us at the beginning of that game. They made us think that it was going to be competitive. What was that final? 21 to 6? 21 to 6, brother. Oh, man. Oh, man. Two more games left. India, Northern Mariana Islands in the women's uh, qualifying draw C, and that'll be followed by the last game of the day, Indonesia and Hong Kong. Enjoy the highlights. We'll get right to those next two games momentarily. All right, we turn it over to the ladies for our last 20 minutes of game time. Wanna find you all see in your face, Kyle Montgomery, AKA the voice in your ear, along with the czar, Angelo Sragarakis. Team India, they're back. They look ready to go. Nearly the entire quartet is on the court. Our very first look at the Indian women's team, India women's team today. They got length, brother. They got length. And they go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Northern Mariana Islands. We will also see Hong Kong uh, up next and see them for the very first time. Get a chance to watch them play two games tomorrow. Both teams on the floor. Ready to get it locked and loaded. All right. Officials are in place. 
Lights are shining bright. He's gonna steal the show between these two. India with Anisha, Cletus, Kavya, Singla, Pushpa, Sintu, Kumar, and Srikala Rani. Appreciating this one along with uh, Rihanna De La Torre, uh, all the way from Australia. So no scouting report uh, on on India. Of course, we did see uh, Northern Mariana Islands earlier. And no scouting report on Northern Mariana Islands as none of those girls have international experience. Yes, I'm trying to look at their, locate their score from earlier. But you know my papers keep flying away from me. I can't keep up. Did they even, did they play earlier? No, no they didn't. They did not. That was the that was the men's team that uh, that played. So I'll, it'll be our first look at, at the ladies squad. So all new teams the rest of the way today in our final two games. Andy oh, wasted no time. There it's you the, go. It's that size advantage that they utilize defense as well ronnie on the run and foul that's on the floor not in the process of the shot srikala ronnie could have given the ball inside though she had kind of had her head down dribbling didn't identify the position of a cletus anisha ronnie gone with the win she's going right back at it and team india gotta give respect where respect is due when you talk about teams that have won gold medals at the Asia Cup, the India women are one of them. They got a gold at the Asia 3x3 Championships back in 2013 and trying to return to that glory over uh, 10 years later. Good defense. It's the... It's the length of India. Oh, oh that was going to be a beautiful yeah, fake. I, I believed in it. I thought that she was going to get her hands above, uh, above the defense. She certainly sold it to me. Travia, and finding it hard not only to get shots, but to even get a clean pass off. All my single ladies, all my single ladies, all my single ladies. I like what you did there, though. You see what I did there, yeah, single I, I mean, I validate it. I don't know if everybody else will, but I do. Well, you know, they aren't always going to be home runs, but I'm going to keep swinging for the fences. And that's the only way you keep a good average. Uh-oh, 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 oh, no, no. <laughs> India dominating very early and establishing inside presence, aggressiveness. You can tell they're well-rounded. To me, they know what to do. To me, it's been all about the defense. It is all about the India defense. They are disruptive. Uh, obviously, NMI is uncomfortable. Oh, they got away with one. Yeah. But. I don't, I don't see this one uh, going the limit. I'm just going to be honest with you. I do not see this one going the limit. And I don't think the Indian ladies want to make it to the 10-minute limit. Well, I, yeah, they want to make it a, a, a quick day of work. Ronnie. It's dribbled it some. Nice start for India. Four zip. NMI making their Asia Cup debut. So sometimes you have to temper your expectations when you look at the reality of the situation. 
Not saying that they can't compete, but if they were to beat India, it would be a mega, mega upset. Probably the biggest upset. <laughs> Two is launched. We need some glass cleaner. Ronnie. She's so hard to stay in front of when she when she plays downhill like that. Strong with the ball. Always aggressive. Always aggressive. Makes it makes it so hard. To, uh, to defend. And Kavi Singla towering over her opponents needs to be tougher on the finishing end. Just like that, Cletus. 5 0 lead, India. The steal and what the fast break Cletus? opportunity. <laughs> what you talking about? What you talking about, Cletus? Five zip. Uh, India's got to take care of the buddies. That's easy work. Oh, you would think so. Go, 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 go. And Ronnie trying to copy paste the previous drive she's made. Not working out. Deep two. There you go. I'll show you how to do this, son. Push back him on. Yeah. Uh-oh. Didn't clear, though. Kumar didn't get her feet behind the two-point line. Seven zip. This is a... I, we haven't had many games in the history of 3x3 that end up 21 zip. I've seen a few. Have you seen a few? I have. Uh, I think I've seen one 21 zip. I've seen, a, I've seen some 21 ones. Yep. So the record of futility could be threatened in a game like this. Right now it's 8-0, but at some point NMI is going to get a bucket, right? At some, some point? Let's pick it into existence. That would make both Dan happy, I know that. Is, so, is there a fast forward? Can you? Well, don't you, aren't you uh, Magnanimous, uh, Nostranimous, Montgomery, whatever you <laughs> yeah. called yourself earlier? Nostradamus. Nostradamus. Yes. Yes. It only worked for that game. Ah, okay. It only worked for that game. It's when it, whenever you have the vision. It's a limited, a limited time off. You didn't know that? God. I got to learn so much. Don't worry, Grasshopper. <laughs> I will, show wax you on, the, wax I will show you the way. <laughs> wax on, wax off. Uh, there's some waxing going on right now. For sure. And but the main problem is they're starting off every set play with inside presence right through the middle of the paint under the basket. And that's going to run up the score pretty fast. Because physically, NMI needs to push him out the paint and they just can't do it. Yep, they having some issues. 10 zip is where it stands. Uh, do you think, well, okay, what, what happens first? NMI gets a bucket. I'd like to see him, I'd like to see him get a bucket, by the way. I'd like to see him get a couple of buckets. NMI gets a bucket or India reaches 21 before the two minute mark. You mean with more than two minutes left in the game? Yes. What's more probable? Which, which one is more probable? Uh, probably option number two. Oh, man. Probably option number two. I was hoping that you said the former, not the latter. It's just, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not a knock on, on Northern oh. Mariana Island. Oh, not at all. Like, so the main thing is, look out how, how serious applied India is defensively and how offensively they're just not starting to chuck up deuces because they feel like it or because uh, the game enables them to just take any yes. kind of shot they want. They'll keep grinding it, giving the ball inside, 
utilizing mismatch okay, action. That's it. They're going to stick to the formula. Right. And that's why I, I say that the second option seems more feasible to me than the, pre, the, the primary. Yep. And you, and, you know, you, you give you give NMI some leeway because this is a completely new experience. They're adapted to a, a new game. Uh, but, but make no mistake, this won't ever be close. This, this. It just can be. Man, we might as well start That's wrapping That's a nice looking shot right there from Cletus. Right at the free throw line. 13 uh -huh. zip. Oh, got one pass. Oh, there it is. There you go. NMI on the board. Oh, see, I, I was right. I don't know if I, I don't know if I made it. <laughs> did you pick no, option number one? Yes. Good. I'm glad you did. That's the second time I was right today after saying that the Australian men would win by 12. <laughs> I'm two for you two. You know I'm going to edit it, right? <laughs> you know I'm going to edit it just for you. Quick step. Nowhere. Uh-oh. I'll tell you what. What? 1-1 one, one ball in the center. That's what it should be right now. What? One one ball in the center. Yes, one one ball in the center. You're wrong about Australia. You're right about uh, NMI. Now ball in the center. Was I wrong about Australia? <laughs> You're not I'm, gonna let that one go. I'm just gonna. I'll have to. I'll check again. But if I if <laughs> it was said, it was mentioned, if I would the, be shocked. If the tape proves me wrong, then I'll accept it. But I'm, you know, I agree to disagree. Right, I will just agree to disagree. Brother, I'm just going to agree with you. 15-1. <laughs> oh. Fast break city. 16-1. This is, uh, it's like a layup line. Hey, this. But you know what's going to be kind of, kind of funny? I think we're both going to be right. P possibly. Yeah, possibly. possibly. Yeah, very possibly. Pass, pass back. That's how you run the fast break. 17-1. We haven't had the second TV timeout yet. Good defense. And that's a great look. 16-point advantage. Oh, Cletus. Spoiling dessert. But giving Ronnie another opportunity for a two-point dagger. Could have made up for it. Even the defense is still high pressure. See? Oh, you got to stay focused. And now they're kind of giving up. Rarely. Don't give up, ladies. Just play until the very end. Get a second bucket. No, they're playing. They're playing. Uh, the problem is... India ain't playing around. They're not. Uh, As they should have, truthfully. The, the biggest sign of respect you can give your opponent, Kyle, is to play the way you're supposed to play. And play up to your own abilities, regardless of who you're playing against. To me, it's always disrespectful whenever you're playing down to whoever's level you're playing against. Sure. It's not the way it's supposed to be. You show them respect, you show them how it's done, and give them something to think about to understand what high level looks like. Yep. Give me your best shot. Right. I, I right. agree with you. I agree with you. Only three points to go for India in this one. It will very likely end before the limit. And a shot clock violation. We'll give it back over to Team India. Who didn't have the type of showing that they wanted at uh, last year's edition. Finished 11th. And they've come back recharged in 2024. Cletus. She will uh, 
finish the leftovers there. She didn't waste the dessert. It's, ain't that what you say? Spoiling dessert. Spoiling dessert. And 21-1. That, that's it, ain't it? It's over, yeah, guys. Yeah, it's it's it. over. That's it. Ball game. Ball game. There you go. Didn't even reach the three-minute mark, sir. Uh, 21-1. We don't have to talk much about that, do we? You know. No, we don't. Okay, let's not even. No, we don't. All right. So, uh huh. Last game coming up. Indonesia against Hong Kong. First time seeing both of these teams today, too. First look at pool C for the women. Uh, but man, for India to pick up a win like that, that was easy breezy. All right, highlights. Enjoy them. And uh, let's all get ready for what will be the last game of the day. It's on the way. Hong Kong. And Indonesia. And Indonesia. Stick around. It's coming your way in just a moment. Here they are in all their glory. Team Indonesia. Represented, of course, on the men's and women's side. And Hong Kong, one of my one of my favorite places in, in Asia. You asked me yesterday some of my favorite places to go. Yep. I love Hong Kong. Tokyo is, is up there as well. Uh, Shanghai. And I think those are my top. Don't well. I need to expand my expand Asia. Oh, you, the you, Philippines. You can give us a top five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, let me in think no about specific it. order either. Let me think about it. Because I've been to Malaysia and I've been to the Philippines. And, You've and been around the block, course. Brother. Brother. Me, Japan has a special place in my heart too. It's just different vibes. It's all, to me. Like anytime it people ask me, I always say, "Well, it depends how I feel. Depends what I need." Do you agree with that? Each each experience is, is pretty unique yeah. in that uh, I get to, you know, delve into the culture a little bit, and um, I could be more thankful. Man. I, I, you know, it's a, it's a treat. It's a blessing. It's an honor. You know what I told you yesterday, man? You're a true citizen of the world. That's really what you've become now. You got, you got relationships and understanding of how people live and how like what they're about not and, so, it, and it's, it's it's wealth right there not so bad for a young dude from kansas city a 40 year old i feel you all right we can, can you handle one more 10 minute sprint not only i can but i'm kind of sad we don't have more 
Don't say that. Yeah. We got more tomorrow, dude. We'll be get ready. We'll be up bright and early. I'm just saying and I'm we'll ready. Do it all, I'm we'll just do saying it I'm ready, all man. over again. Let's go for another 18, 18 games piece. I'm, I'm going to get more than four hours of sleep tonight, though. I promise yeah, you that. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. I promise I you that one. Uh, anyway, Indonesia with Leah Kahol and Jesslyn Angelique. Uh, Ari Tonang, Faizatus, Shoima, Basia, Keri Saputere, Saputera, rather. And for Hong Kong, they have uh, Kwak Chuan Chuang, Chiung, sorry, Long Tak Soi. I got the right roster here. No, yeah, I do. Come on, Angelo. Well, you played a trick on me. I'm gonna tell everybody you, you're the one that handed me this roster. I did not. You played a joke. Do you, you have a horrendous joke on me? Do you have no. the men? Or do you have the women's? Well, you gave me the. See, I didn't give you. That was your package. You know what? <laughs> Security. <laughs> <laughs> Security, please. <laughs> I can't deal with it. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you one thing, Kyle. What? The the media guide is so thick. <laughs> at some point, it's this thing tough, is man. like an encyclopedia. It is of information. All right, we're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. Uh, Hong Kong, by the way, well, they'll have a chance to compete for a spot in the Olympics because uh, we'll be hosting an OQT there. Uh, that'll be the first uh, universality OQT that uh, that we'll host. And that's only like two weeks away. We we are hitting the ground running here in this Olympic year. And again, no Olympic implications at stake at this edition of the Asia Cup. Doesn't take any of the luster away from this tournament because you're still fighting for continental supremacy. The high arc is off the mark. Here's Leah. Leah, beautiful move, strong finish at the rim. And hot pursuit defensively. Indonesia are gonna stick with it. Or Hong Kong rather, excuse me. Basia jumps the deuces. Foul, white. So for Hong Kong, that, that would be uh, Tan Feng Ma. Yep. Si Quan Li. Yep. Uh, yep. Huey Tong. Uh-huh. And Chan Wai Ping. Ping Chan. Right. Yep. And Hui, Hui Liu Tong. All right. There it's day go. one. It's day one. Don't y'all judge me. Don't y'all judge me. It's day one. Baisa. Oh. Tying things up to three apiece. Lee. And the response. They're shooting that thing up. Cushy. Take cover. They shooting out here. 5-3. Foul on the baseline. A little bit of a push. That is Whistle, and the second on Indonesia. DJ Last still hard at work. The man on the spins. DJ is a three, uh, DJ Last is a 3x3 stable. And MC, and MC Noah Lazarus, too. You know, Noah, he uh, outdates me. Everybody acts like I've been a part of 3x3 for such a long time. It's been, it's been a good while. But Noah was here, I think, two seasons before I, I came. Or at least one season. So that's like that's the 2013. O, that's the O. That's the OG. Noah Lazarus. <laughs> Leah hands it off. Angelique. Now that you're mentioning that, like you're putting things in perspective in my mind. It's been 12 years. Uh, 12. 2012, like not even thinking that way, because I'm always thinking of world tour and my invo involvement on the professional circuit. Yeah. But my first national team training camp and event and all these things is 2012. 
But it's like, it's like the elders used to tell us, once you graduate college, the years go by so fast. Right. Five years goes by so quick, and next thing you know, 10 goes by quick. And now here we are, you got gray hair everywhere. You lost <laughs> hair up top, I got gray hair everywhere. Every, I, everything hurts when I wake up. Yeah. She took her time, used the glass, and knocked it down. Liaka hold. I like the pace of this game. Yeah, not bad. 6 4. And I'm putting the uh, cherry on top of what has been an exciting first day. We got one overtime game, had some crazy finishes. We started bright and early, and we're still going strong. And Tom forgot her luggage on that trip to the basket. What you know about that? Oh, I know all about that. Ah, there we go. Leah from deep. Nope. She couldn't rock the boat. Rock the boat. That's Leah. Aaliyah. And that's going to be an offensive foul. Hugging it out a little bit too long. Wayne Ping Chan. She had established position. She was rolling to the cup, but she's doing a little too much. Uh oh, lost the handle on it. Oh, watch the camera. Oh, Angelique not happening on the drive. Kill a crossover. Jet Lee. Speed kills. Oh, but Indonesia with the sweet outside shooting. They're just going to go back and forth on there. Indonesia firing it up like Indo. That's a, maybe that's American slang. <laughs> it surely is. Trust me. <laughs> like most people are not going to understand. <laughs> that is perfectly fine. I, that saves me from getting in trouble. That is true. Never mind. But at the end of the day, all references made are still acceptable. In the sipping on gin and juice, lay down. You know what I'm saying? Come on, you, that's you're, 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 you're gonna tell me that doggy style is something that I would not know about. Okay, there. No, no, not like you would insult me that way. <laughs> <laughs> We're the same generation, brother. Don't forget. Facts. I stand corrected. I apologize. Chan. We only have what three, two, two and a half months apart. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Two and a half months. I'm first to forty. You're right. You're my elder. Angelique to Leah. There you go. She puts it right in the square. Square to the circle. Ooh, nice dribble drive. Lee. Lee. Oh, Hezzy. Oh, good defense in pursuit. Leah. Swung over. Because I just cannot find the mark. Uh oh. One man down. Lee. Let's it fly. Oh, and Leah cannot track it down in time. And instead, that is uh, out of bounds. 7-7 seven, seven tie. 7-7 seven, seven tie with six minutes to go. Yeah, this is a pretty good game so far. James. Well, you're, you're, we're seeing some uh, efficiency from the outside. Just a bunch of uh, offensive fouls and missed layups that kind of spoil the good stuff that we've been seeing. Oh, the hustle. Fast break city. Beautiful finish. Uh, yeah, nice reverse. But good transition offense, too. Got a good look. Didn't land it. In and out. Tom with the brakes on. Ma. No. Come on, Ma. <laughs> you know I was thinking of something. <laughs> I got something else. If she does something, I'm going I'm to I'm give you a throwback. And that's American slang once again. Yo, Ma, what's up, Ma? That's New York. It is New York, isn't it? But you're a Kansas boy, and I'm more affiliated with California. Yeah. It's going to be trouble. Kansas born 10 years in, in L.A., though. Yeah, I mean, you're a Cali boy by adoption, just yeah. like me. Lived all over, though. I lived in the South for a while. Why, why am I giving my, my bibliography? <laughs> what is this? It's an 8-7 game, and it's a good one. 
It's game number 18 of the day, that's why. Okay. We just missed a chance for a moth pun. We, we gotta tighten up. Vasya swings it over. Angelica no Lee. Nine seven, Hong Kong. Lee's tough. Oh, looked off the defense. Did not finish the deal though. Uh-uh, you take it back right now. So here's Lee in a mismatch, but uses that quickness to come around and block that shot of Leah. Whoa. Wild shot, Lee has it landed in her lap. Lee gives it up to get it back. Oh, Lee. Ah, too unselfish there. Ooh, I saw some ankles and knees crumbling. We might get a top five worthy play in the next four and a half minutes. When, when Lee gets the ball, I'm sitting, in, I'm sitting pay on the attention. edge of my seat a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, you got to pay attention. Angelique. Nope. Strikes the iron. Tong. They take. And the defensive pressure. You got to give credit where credit is due. The reason the turnover happened is because Wai Ping Chan um, denied the outlet pass completely. And then there was ball pressure down low. So no angle, turnover. Oh, Tom. So Leah, I, I, she's had some really good defensive possessions in this game. But I think she's get, as she gets more fatigued, it becomes much more difficult for her to stay in front of some of these quick guards. When, right. when Tong has Leah in front of her, She's putting her, her foot on the gas and get to the rim. Same thing with Lee. So I think a smart substitution for Indonesia, who only trailed his game by three points right now. Still anybody's game. Lee to the corner. And a misfire from Ma. Angelique. She'll drop it off. Down to the post office now. Rizatus. Can't connect now because she stay in front of Lee. And foul call. Got to put Ma on the line. That is the sixth foul on Indonesia. Next defensive foul, two free throws, the result. But time for a TV timeout in the meantime. left on the game clock as we get back to it. Ah, this is at the strike. Tom defended well again. A bit unlucky on the finishing touch, but that was nice forward right there. Good pass. Oh, precision. Oh. Leah stays active, though, and earns the possession. Back for her team. You know what Trick would say, right? What? You got to finish your breakfast. Got to finish your breakfast. So, oh. missed opportunity for Indonesia to uh, close the gap a bit. A lot of 3x3 to be played in this one still with 3.12 left. Oh, Lee. 
narrow miss, and look at the quick hands. Did, didn't clear it, realized the mistake. Exactly three minutes left. So, I've been asked uh, by some uh, followers of the live right now, they want to make sure that they understand where the winner of the Asia Cup is going to go, or whether they're going to earn potentially a spot in the qualifying tournaments like it has been the case in the past. But this year, it's not. No, you will not this year's earn not. You just earned the glory, yes. the prestige of winning the medals. The prestige of winning. The, now, last year's uh, edition of the Asia Cup, did qualify the gold medal winners to one of the OQTs. So that's why you'll see the Australian women uh, right. participate. Uh, a couple other teams, uh, Mongolian men who earned gold. Right. Uh, but not for this this year's edition of the Asian Cup. So. Well, it, pro it still has something to do with the World Cups, though. Like the World Cup, the, the, the zone, um, zone winners. Zone Cups, yes. Zone Cup winners qualify into the World Cup, that never changes. Yes. But it's more so towards Olympic consideration. It was last year as it was the closing up uh, and uh, the last chance to qualify based on ranking and, uh, and, pro and performance. Yeah, the, o the OQTs uh, are set for this year. Right. And they're starting soon. And, and you're going to have some teams moving in as other teams qualify based on how many qualifiers exactly. they're uh, uh, eligible to. Exactly, exactly. So, so let's say if France qualify in their first attempt, then gonna, they're going to free up a spot in the second. Right. The second OK. OK France OK. has already qualified, as is China, USA, Serbia. But the men's French. Yeah, the men's French. They are still not qualified. They yeah. have two opportunities to do it. But if they qualify in their first attempt, they're going to free up a spot for another uh, federation in the second OQT that, they, that France was supposed to play in, for example. And it's going to be the same thing with uh, all the other candidates. A lot of things to be sorted. So for we, sure, for sure. All we know is the three, three countries per gender that are already set uh, for Paris in uh, 2024. The remaining five spots will be determined in uh, those OQTs. Minute 56. And a five-point lead for Hong Kong. Lead from D. No. Tracks the ball down, puts it where it's supposed to go. And Hong Kong. And Ma, they, they got lead burned. It. Yeah, Indonesia. She got burned on the back going cut. away. You identified that Leah has a hard time to stay in front of the quickness of Leah Ma. At this juncture in the game, and early in the game, she was doing a much better job. But again, you get, you get tired after a while. You get me. And Tong, sorry, I said Ma. I was yeah. saying Tong. Lee and Tong. That's going to be a carry. Yeah. Buck 06 left. Final minute in the final game of day one. Oh, nice finish right before the expiration of the 12 second shot clock. Nice little stutter step. Oh, Mob managed to sneak the pass in the chant. No bucket as a result. 36 seconds and counting. And Hong Kong look to be cruising to a victory. But now 25 ticks left. Travel call. Yep. Won't matter at, at this point. Well, won't matter. 
Not going to be enough time to make a, a historical comeback. Thirteen ticks. Indonesia still trying to collect as many points as they can. Couldn't get that last two to fall. Five seconds to go. Lee, it's your show. And runs the clock out. Wasting the chance to even get a shot up herself. Uh, for their sake, hopefully that doesn't cost them in some way going forward. Yeah. You rack up the win, but never forget about scoring. Points are at a premium. You must take advantage. But a 14-10 final to wrap the day. You still with me? I'm still with you. All right, good, good, good. So 18 games in the books to start our qualifying draw action. Just one more day of qualifiers remaining. Then our main draw will be solidified, and the tournament then goes to the next level. Seventh edition of the Asia Cup from here in Singapore. Enjoy the highlights, and then we'll uh, put a button on what was an exciting day with the voice in the czar. Coming into the third uh, session, who impressed you most? Now we've seen everybody play. I keep my picks. You keep them. I keep my picks. I, the last session has not brought in any kind of new information that was meaningful enough for me to be shaken on my on my position. So I think that we um, we have a pretty clear vision as of right now, knowing that we still haven't seen Singapore and that group. Uh, join the party so far but we have a good idea we know Sri Lanka is in the driver's seat to get a ticket we know Australia has been dominant we know India is gonna have something to say about some yep we know that it's gonna be a heck of a clash between the uh, Philippine women's team and Kazakhstan tomorrow right for the uh, one slot coming out of that group indeed so, uh, all in all a very very busy schedule as you look at the standings in our qualifying draw groups. This is draw B, which, uh, which Sri Lanka, what we, what we mentioned during the broadcast, which is the gap and uh, Korea having to beat Sri Lanka by 11 points difference. Australia and Kazakhstan, the class of men's qualifying draw pool C. Kazakhstan playing with three guys. Mm. That, that, that's going to be tough. Malaysia right. and India in a qualifying draw pool B for the men. Both of these teams equal in the points category, so they'll clash tomorrow. That sets up a, a pretty exciting game. We mentioned the Philippines and Kazakhstan. Also both unscathed. Winner moves on. And here's our only games that we saw in uh, qualifying draw C for the women. Hong Kong coming out uh, as the winner to cap the day. Okay. That's going to do it for day one of the seventh edition of the Asia Cup. We got four more days to go. Tomorrow will be the last day of our qualify, uh, qualification action. We will see you tomorrow, same time, same place, 11 local for the second uh, second day of play. Great get some job, rest. man. Get some rest, I'm brother. Get some rest, get some food, and uh, we will see you guys back tomorrow from here in Singapore for day two. Peace. Peace.